Canadian albacore tuna is 100% wild and sustainably caught in the cold waters of the Pacific. The tender meat melts in your mouth when crusted in coffee and peppercorns and served with a colorful ribbon salad. As a cook, I'm a bit of a night owl, and before I have my coffee in the morning, I'm a different human being, and I love coffee and tea, and so does seafood. So I thought I'd bring coffee and tea together, energize the cookbook, and have some fun doing it. This is albacore tuna. Look at that. White tuna, it's my favorite species of tuna. It's fatty, it's moist. I'm making a coffee and peppercorn crusted tuna with a vegetable salad and it all starts with some peppercorns. These are pink and black peppercorns. I love the difference in the two. One's nice and spicy, one's nice and floral and it's gonna go great with some coffee. Now for this recipe, I like using instant coffee. Instant coffee like dissolves instantly. So it's perfect on the loin of the fish. Just dump it out and then you can just dip your fish into it. Now to make it extra sticky, I just put the loin in some plastic wrap and roll it up nice and tight. That is a beautiful thing. And normally you'd think of lettuce in a salad, but this is a really cool salad with no lettuce in it. Carrots, zucchini, and parsnips. I'm peeling the carrot. I don't want to use the peel, I just want to use the nice, sweet flesh. Next time somebody asks you to make a salad, think outside the box. This is full of flavor, color, and texture, and it looks cool. This salad is fast asleep, and I need to wake it up with some coffee in a dressing. This dressing is super simple and it starts with a little bit of shallots. Every good dressing starts with some vinegar. I love sherry vinegar and then the salt. It'll dissolve in the vinegar and you won't have chunks of seasoning while you're eating it. Now I'm putting coffee in here. Coffee's a little bitter. I'm not gonna use a lot, just enough to give it that little, that little morning wake up. And honey, it's all about balance. So a little bit of honey just sweetens it all up. Now, I like to use a neutral oil. You can use olive oil if you like. It's gonna change the flavor, but for me, just a neutral oil. I don't wanna jeopardize the flavor of the coffee or the vinegar. Woo-wee! The vinaigrette can go right onto the vegetables. That's what I love about working with fish. You get everything else ready, and then you and the fish can just have a moment together, and it's almost tuna time. Check this out. One of the reasons I left the plastic wrap on it is because it makes it so easy to cut. Now, I like my tuna rare. You can cook it however you want, but there's just something so great about rare tuna, or medium rare, into a hot pan. This is the best part. And you can kind of watch it cook. It's only like about a minute on either side and you're good to go. The coffee's gonna like to toast up and almost burn, so you have to watch it. That's a perfect crust, and you can see it's already starting to cook it. I just wanna do that exact thing to every side. Now, if you like your tuna cooked a little more, just lower the heat on your pan so you don't burn the coffee and you have your desired doneness. I've worked in a lot of restaurants that have Japanese influence in it, and this is how they cut their tuna and their sushi rolls. Just put a little piece of plastic wrap over it, and it kind of keeps everything together while you cut it. Voila, tuna volcano. It's all about the coffee, and inside this bowl, I know, is a ton of flavor. The coffee and the vinegar and the dressing of the salad make a great sauce.
I like the freshness of parsley. It actually goes really well with coffee. And it looks pretty. Yes, the taste. Now I'm gonna have a parsnip because they are so good when they're just marinated. Coffee is such a good friend in this dish. It doesn't overpower the tuna and the vinaigrette with coffee in it goes so good with the earthy, crunchy vegetables. And it looks cool. Coffee, not just for the morning anymore.